In the fourth video in the 729 Healing Harmonic series we will discuss numbers. Where do they come from? Are we connected to numbers in a conscious manner? As the human race marvels at its own existence or, and technical prowess, taking a step back and looking at how we created the numbers we use for our own world, it's very easy to overlook a few simple truths. We created our own numerical system of counting and evaluating and extrapolating and analysing to make our lives easier. Whilst unbeknown to us, the universe in its own beauty and majesty was very simply operating within its own system of numbers that maintains it in harmony. Only when we have learned and understood that this very fact is true can we go beyond our current conscious realms and travel to newer and higher dimensions of reality and technical prowess. If the universe does in fact have a system of numbers that it itself creates, in order for us to achieve any sense of belonging and understanding we must first discover what these numbers are and how they pertain to our world, our lives and our own existence. Are we connected to them directly via our brain unknowingly bumbling along, believing that we are very disconnected when in fact we are just as close now as we were thousands of years ago, just our crazy human lives get in the way. In fact, I would say that at no other time on this planet have we been as close as we are now to finally start putting the pieces of the jigsaw together and realise we don't have to stand on the precipice of destruction we will command our greatest moments and step forward into the future of humankind that has never been seen before. One of the greatest challenges that we face now is one of mathematical understanding of the mysteries of the universe and to transform our lives into a peaceful coexistence with everything and without destroying our planet. Indeed, it is now with this knowledge in our armoury that we can win this struggle and emerge from the other side smiling and laughing as the joyful beings we are, because as humans it's via this joyous ecstasy of delight and bliss that we truly shine. Many many people around the world are awakening to the fact that we have to raise our consciousness to new levels of understanding and spiritual awareness if we are to survive the coming galactic changes that millions of people are now becoming aware of. If you look at the history of our planet you will find that the pole shift occurs approximately every 200,000 years. Maybe it's more probable that if the universe does indeed have its own numbering system that it would be of a resolution that would have to exist within the structure of the numbers 1, 3, 6 and 9. Let's go one step further. How about 9 multiplied by 25,000 or so years, which would put our range somewhere in the region of every 225,000 to 240,000 years? Interesting. In the second part of this video series, we discuss the fact that the universe tends to maintain its harmony around the numbers 1, 3, 6 and 9. If this is the case, then surely our own numbering systems on Earth would also have to have mathematical constructs that allow us to measure, analyse and extrapolate accurately, and that these constructs would also have to pertain to the same system that the universe itself uses. Does this mean, then, that if we do not have any mathematical constructs presently, we will be able to forecast almost nothing correctly? What if our numbering systems are indeed so far out of line that we have to use equations that factor in likely error values, especially if using computers? By this there are many examples, Euler for instance, or maybe let's take a look at differential equations and partial differential equations. One of the biggest subjects within this field is the problem with boundary errors. Why are there more books, articles and papers written about this boundary problem than the actual substance of being able to use them effectively? Could it be that boundary conditions that are assumed are completely wrong? Yet again we can see there are many mathematical conundrums that seem to confound the greatest of minds. One of the greatest of them all is the question of science and God. 
If God exists, which he truly does by the way, then surely it would be possible to take a small glimpse through the science of mathematics and particle physics. But presently it is still not possible to completely answer this question using the classic methods that are being taught throughout every school on this planet. We need to look at this carefully and have a fresh look at how the mathematical models we are using are making very small but huge errors. I do not know how much it costs to build a structure like the particle accelerator at CERN, but if the mathematics is wrong then would it work at all? And if the intent of the use behind this work is also wrong then surely it will also fail. It is said that the road to hell is paved with good intention. It is quite clear that this is not the case. Think about this for a moment. If God exists in numbers, then surely it would not be possible to use this knowledge for nefarious intent. And finally, let's put the cat amongst the pigeons. What's with the obsession with anti-gravity? It appears to me that it would be quite costly in terms of materials and power to achieve, when in fact one very simple physical property of everything is that if you change the resonant frequency of a material you also change the manner in which it behaves. So would it not be easier and less expensive than to make something vibrate or oscillate at a rate where it naturally will levitate? Think about the pyramids there for a moment. How did those massive stones get moved after all? we've received some interesting questions on our previous videos in this series uh, please keep the comments coming we read them all and respond back to as many as we can um, all our love and peace and keep tuned for the next video thank you